This is like the worst fashion crime if it was even in the documented book of fashion crimes because I don't think anyone's ever even tried it. Hello lovely lovelies and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well this week and staying safe. And I also haven't announced it yet on my Instagram or on here, but I got a new hairdo and I cut quite a few inches off and kind of gave myself some little bangs, kind of like an intro to bangs. So I am going to post a selfie on Instagram soon. I swear I'm so bad at posting selfies on my Instagram, but on to the video. Today I'm going to be doing kind of an outfit challenge video because I really want to experiment with the clothes in my closet and pairing different things together to get different looks that I might not have ever done. So I'm going to be using an app on my phone called Stylebook and I found a randomized feature on it that you can put in categories in your closet and it'll just mishmash a bunch of pieces together. So today I'm going to let it pick my outfits because with as many clothes as I have, I feel like I overlook so many pieces and I really just need a little bit of an eye opener with what I can put together and who knows, maybe something will come out of it that I actually really love. And we are going to try some outfits on and see how it turns out. So here is the app and I use this all the time to organize my closet and I've put things in like tank tops and I have to find the images to put in for each individual piece which is quite a lot of work but being my crazy self I need this kind of organization so I can see all of my bottoms and skirts and trousers to create looks. But the feature that we're going to be using today is the outfit shuffle and you can put up to eight little categories of clothing in here. So let's get started. The first category that I think I'll pick is pretty much all items in tops. I'm not going to pick like tank top or long sleeve or anything like that. I'm also just going to let it pick from any of my bottoms and also from any of my shoes. So let's hit shuffle and see what we get. So I think I'm going to pick the best and the worst outfits to try on for you guys and I'm going to keep it a secret which one is the bad one that I'm going to try on but I think that I'm liking this one here the best from this first category and I'm just going to add that to a new folder called random. So I'm going to do another one but this time I'm going to do kind of more of a fall or wintry vibe and include outerwear. So now we are going to shuffle these and to see what we get. There are some weird combinations. I'm thinking about doing this one here for my good one and I will show you guys later what I think is the worst one on. I have quite a few to pick from. <laughs> Next I'm going to make a fancy outfit for like an event or something. There are quite a few just okay outfits for this one. And this red dress is showing up a lot. This one is actually gorgeous. So we are gonna go with that one. This time we are going to do a casual look. So we're going to do all tops again, as well as a sports bra or bralette, trousers, and then in shoes, we will do sneakers. And we are going to see what comfy lounge outfits we get. So because I picked all tops, it's also including bralettes twice as a potential option. So luckily there are a few outfits here though where it's not completely a ridiculous idea to layer the pieces. So like this one here I think would be my favorite. So for this last outfit shuffle, I am literally just going to do a wild card and whatever goes in it goes in it and I get to pick out any of the items because I have tops, bottoms, dresses, and jumpsuits that could all overlap. So I'm just going to pick the things out of it that I like, but I'm just going to leave all the possibilities open. So we have some lovely color schemes going and I definitely approve of some of these combinations. Of course, I don't think I'll be able to use every piece in the outfit for the good one, and I will just pick and choose. The only things I can't pick and choose, of course, are the shoes, the purse, the accessory, and the outerwear. Those all have to stay. But with that in mind, I think I will pick 
this look here and edit that dress out, those pants, and put the sweater with this jumpsuit and all of these lovely accessories. And I'm going to be so hot in this outfit, but I think it'll look cute. So here we are with all of the app picked outfits and we have 10 of them because I picked my favorite from each randomized category and also the worst one from each category. So we have some very interesting outfits going on here. So I'm going to try on the first outfit that was my favorite that the app randomized for me. This is the first outfit and I'm actually totally more than okay with this. Even though the pinks are a bit like a lot of different shades of pink, I totally am not offended by it. So I would actually probably wear this to the mall or even like out to lunch or just really anywhere casual. And I love a good casual pair of sneakers with a skirt. I think that's such a cute look. So I really like this one. Now, since I promised you guys I would, I'm going to try on my least favorite outfit from that bunch. So I will be right back. So this outfit is just absolutely horrendous. And one of the main things I really don't like about it is how out of balance it is and how little is on top and how much weight with like the big jeans and the socks and everything is on the bottom. And it kind of reminds me of something that I would have done in my younger years, having too small of a top with like just a jean or something like that. But these socks, I would hopefully say I could never ever do that to myself in a million years because these socks are so bad. <laughs> but here is the look that is randomized by my app. So yeah. Now on to the fall outfits. This one was my favorite of the bench and it is quite warm and if it's not even fall it might be winter because there are so many layers here and I'm very warm <laughs> and it's very chunky with like the big purse and I really like the look of it. Very cozy and I have my little gray booties that go well with the grayish black sweater and I think that I would actually go out in this. I might tone it down a little bit and choose a different outerwear to maybe make it a little bit more sophisticated because this is like a lounging kind of piece for me but I would probably wear this like downtown without feeling completely embarrassed. <laughs> I do quite like it though. I am very inspired by some of the combinations. Whew, okay, I'm gonna move into the next outfit. I'm hot. There is nothing that could possibly prepare you guys for what you're about to see. <laughs> Ta-da! I really tried with this outfit, guys, with like tying this around here. And it's just, oh, I'm lost for words. This is actually, like, I feel like I'm in the circus. It is, got my little embellished coach flats, which I just adore, but it just makes this outfit even worse somehow. And I love all these pieces separately, but together, this is just... On to the next ones. So the app randomized this fancy outfit for me, and it looks very cute on. It's totally something that I would wear to an event or something, and I actually got gold jewelry that matches. It totally could have stuck me with like a gold necklace and silver earrings. Um, so that's nice. And also the purse is very cute, though it does have silver hardware, but I can get over it. I would wear this out to lots of different events and fancy evening things if there were any going on right now, but I really love this outfit and would totally wear it out. So thumbs up for this one. This one was my least favorite of them and actually the outfit itself looks pretty good, but the catch is it comes with a duffel bag. So if I were to go to a fancy event and walk in looking like this with a duffel bag, I think I would just leave immediately. This is like the worst fashion crime if it was even in the documented book of fashion crimes because I don't think anyone's ever even tried it. But without it evaluating the outfit, I quite like it. Um, and the jewelry matches again, other than the hardware on my heels is gold and the jewelry's silver. So that's another thing that I would change. I'd probably do gold jewelry. But if it was gold jewelry, I would probably be totally fine wearing this to an event, 
but not with a duffel bag. <laughs> I couldn't find the sweater exactly for this one, so I just got this one, which is really similar. I'm not sure where that other one went, or if that ever existed in my closet. That's the problem with having a big closet, is sometimes you don't even know exactly what's in it. But this is my favorite of the casual looks, and it has these little Puma sneakers with a little bow on the back, and they are so cute. I really love them. And this one didn't have a purse or any accessories, because I kind of meant for it to be more of a loungy look, but I would totally go out in this and walk around in public or go to the grocery store in this. It's definitely something that I'd be a-okay with wearing. And I really like the color combo as well. This one has a double layer bralette, and actually it's probably the best out of all the worst outfits in this video because I also know it's coming, but it's not as horrible as I thought it would look, but it still looks pretty bad. Um, with this going on, but it layered not as terribly as I thought. All in all, this is not an outfit that I would wear out. So I guess this taught me that I'm not going to be layering bralettes anytime soon. Next are the wildcard outfits, and these are the outfits with the most pieces in it. And this is my favorite look. And I was really happy that I could include this because I'm absolutely besotted with this bag right now and I really love all the layering and loved that I could layer a sweater over a jumpsuit because I think that that's just the best way to expand your closet. And then I have this big coat which I'm wearing over my shoulders right now because I'd be way too hot if I had it all the way on. And this would be just like the perfect winter outfit. I would totally wear this in a heartbeat, maybe like out to dinner or going to see the zoo lights or something like that, although obviously I would probably ditch the heels if I were to do that. But these heels do look super adorable with this outfit. If you can see them, they're lace up and they're very cute and classy. So this outfit is overall very pretty and definitely something that I want to wear in the future. And last but not least, the worst of the wild cards. But wait, it gets better. I didn't spare any piece I wanted to layer every single thing on, just for the fun of it. Ta-da! This is the last look that I'm doing today, and I'm so grateful because I'm so hot. We have my Louis Vuitton scarf with my favorite new ruffle bag, and I have some overalls over the top of a very fuzzy hoodie, which is definitely keeping the heat in right now. And then I have another top layered over that. And obviously these beautiful little velvet sleep shorts and some little sandal heels. And who knows, maybe I would wear this whenever I lose my mind, but for now I would definitely never ever wear this. And of course the scarf I could never wear with bare legs and a sandal that's just totally a faux pas and the seasons don't mix like that. So on that note, I'm going to end the video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me go change to finish it up. So I'm pretty sure I've definitely changed my mind that the last outfit was the worst fashion crime of them all, but I hope you guys found this video fun and entertaining and I definitely learned some new ways to style my closet. But if you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and check out my Instagram too. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Except for... Oh.